Hi, this is John from Blue Tech Systems. We've been busy in 2016, installing the latest in 10 gigabit per second wireless solutions. We put this installation video together, featuring a very challenging location in high winds for a company called Ozinga, located in Mokina, Illinois. At the far side, we were dealing with a concrete mixing plant, so we had to isolate all mixing plant vibrations from the unit itself and locate it as far as possible away from any disturbances. And on the near side is a more standard six-story corporate building. Still had the high winds we knew we'd have to deal with and a few trees that had to be removed. So our first and easiest mount location was convenient, had nice close proximity for cabling entry into the building, and could be located on a corner of steel wall. However, after taking a second look, we realized it was located just too close to this massive air conditioner, and that steel wall turned out to be just one giant vibrating wind sail. So we had to start looking for an alternative location, maybe something a bit closer to the front of the building, away from all that rooftop machinery. Up front, there was that nice, large, thick wall. Looked perfect to us. Corner strength, clear line of sight, nice, strong base. So that's where we decided to add the tripod mount. And if there were any lingering vibrations, we'd simply solve that by placing compression pads between the mount and the wall itself. So once the unit was successfully mounted, it was time to align it with the far side. First thing we do is we check the ODU LED lights in the back panel. If you have any lights turned on at all, you have power, but that little blinking blue light indicates that it's not yet aligned. Which means then that we need to center the auto tracking system. This is done by using the provided magnet. So if, during shipment, the auto tracking system somehow is knocked out of alignment, the magnet brings it right back to center. Then once the two heads are aligned, you will see those three solid LEDs on both sides. It's a nice rooftop reference check. Then, it's time to move indoors. Make sure that all the cables are connected, that the IU is mounted appropriately in the customer's server rack, with four green solid lights being the goal. Final check before we wrap up is a beam stability analysis. This takes about 60 minutes. It checks the laser beam pattern, and if not stable, it'll look a bit like the picture on the left. Notice how erratic the pattern is. Which means, despite our best efforts, the high winds up on that corporate rooftop require us to move this to a third location. So we took down the mount, 
in the unit from that front wall. Again, we knew the steel wall wouldn't work. And this time, place the head below the roof line. Final result? Well, only time will tell. We think we have the optimal mount. We know we have the clear line of sight. But the only real way to know is to monitor this over the long term using the customer switch software. If it's not 100% error free, we'll be back to fix it. Because that's why we get hired. And that's why we're one of the top resellers in America. At the leading edge, you'll find Bluetech Systems with deep reliable experience and nationwide certified technicians. So get a quick quote today at bluetechsys.com.